Now let's take a look at Utah, Alabama, another area that was hit pretty hard by these storms. In just under an hour or so, two hours actually, there's a curfew going to go into effect there, and our WVTM 13 Chip Scarborough is live there now. And Chip, how's it looking there? Well, Lisa, leaders with the city of Utah and Greene County tell me roughly 30 to 35 homes in the area were damaged, including this one right up on the hill here through the trees. You can see it's kind of a big one there. There's some blue tarps over the window. It's going to be a while before things get back to normal here, and you really don't have to go far from the downtown Utah area to find crews hard at work cleaning up chainsaws everywhere in the Kirkwood neighborhood today where a number of homes have significant damage. That's where we are right now. Officials say three homes in the Utah Green County area were completely destroyed. And while it will take a while for things to return to normal, leaders say they're grateful no one here was seriously hurt or killed. The county commission chairman is asking Governor Kay Ivey to declare the area a disaster zone so federal aid can be made available. My favorite governor, She's a high stepper, so I pray that she <laughs> high step uh, very high on this issue in Greene County and <clears> pray <throat> that, you know, our citizens continue to help each other and wrap their arms around each other. And that really has been the theme here today, people helping people. Anyone wishing to help should contact Utah City Hall for more information about that. A curfew is going to go into effect here about 7 o'clock tonight. Again, tonight, this is the second night in a row. It's going to last until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. The police chief saying they are going to be out watching for people violating this. So we are live in Utah and Greene County. Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13. Lisa, going to send it back over to you and Selma now. All right, thank you very much, Chip. Yeah.